What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. So before I properly start this video off, I just wanted to say that if you do enjoy Juventus content and Juventus news, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm trying to bring it to you guys almost daily. Anyways, let's get into this video. So according to multiple sources like Sky Sports Germany, Philip Kostic is going to move to Juventus for a transfer fee of around 15 million. Now first and foremost, this quote unquote transfer came out of nowhere. There was no rumors prior and there was basically no news before Sky Sports and Alfredo Pedula came out and said that Kostic will join us for 15 million and by the way a lot of these sources that have reported this have said in the past that Pogba is basically done he's gonna sign and Di Maria is definitely gonna sign and now apparently Di Maria's agents are gonna meet up with Juventus management in London to discuss a potential deal so just letting you guys know the reliability of these sources maybe they're not as reliable as you think so just take that into consideration before I talk about the player so Philip Kostic is 29 years old and he was wanted by teams like Tottenham Hotspur who obviously now basically have gotten Ivan Perisic which is a great signing by the way on a free. I would have loved Ivan Perisic but obviously unfortunately we couldn't get him. Kostic by the way is way older than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like 27, 28, apparently he's 29 but he has gotten a lot of praise from teams and from fan bases of different teams and for the few matches I've seen him like the Europa League final he hasn't been that bad to be honest. He's been pretty good and for 15 million maybe Maybe he's going to be a good player for us or maybe he's just going to be an average player like a Rabi or a Ramsey. I personally think it's probably going to be a decent player because this new management hasn't been messing around. You know, they got Vlaovic, they got Locatelli, they got Zakaria. All three I would say have been great so far. Sure, Zakaria hasn't played that much, but I think it's been pretty good so far. Probably better than, you know, Rabi or Ramsey and all that mess. And he's on lower wages. So if we can get Kostic in for 3 or 4 million wages, I don't think that's going to be that bad. Another question is what position is going to play because he can play as a wing back but you could also play as a winger this will also depend on what formation the manager is going to use because we have to take into consideration we don't have a lot of center backs now that Killini is gone you know Demiral is most likely going to be sold but he might stay to be honest and basically we're left with Delict and Bonucci if those go obviously we have Regan and Gatti but they're more squad players at least Gatti might become a starter in the future but definitely not now so would that mean he plays as a left winger or might Allegri actually use him as a fullback I think that's a possibility and considering that Pellegrini is staying too that might mean Alexander might be out this season and I respect Sander for what he's done for this club but I personally think it's his time to go obviously he can stay one more year if we don't get to the left back we need but in my, in my opinion he should leave basically anyways guys let me know what you think about this in the comments down below if you did enjoy this video make sure to like share and subscribe for more of this kind of content I'll see you in the next one